Hey YouTube, Martin here. Um, this video is about something I'm rigging up to help clean the bottom of the tank. You see all this dirt at the bottom of the tank here. It's not much here, but if it gets stirred up, it, it will make the water dirty. Um, now imagine if you have a lot of gravel and there's a ton of this stuff sitting in, in the gravel and it'll you'll probably have to siphon a lot and it's just um, not so bad if it's one tank but if it's multiple tanks like these then it's time consuming and um, it gets very tiring very quickly so I'm trying to automate the process um, how am I doing it well let's move to this tank which I'm using as an example so what I've done to to automate this is I've put a huge pump, huge water pump in here. It does you know it doesn't really take much to stick it to the side of the tank. Then what I've done is I've taken a twelve dollar hose from PetSmart, and um, usually it has a little strainer that you put in here. What I've done is I've put it on the other end instead. And then I just put a piece of gauze at the end and tied it with, uh, with some rubber bands. So what happens is the um, water pump sucks the water in. And because it's very powerful, right, it sucks it back out, spits it back out, down the hose, down the hose, and there is no strainer here so it's just water coming down with all the dirt that it picks up so in essence it forces the water out instead of sucking it in like you normally would during regular cleaning this actually forces the water out and what you can do is you can just gently go over top of uh, any area that you feel like has a lot of dirt but that's something you can go in above and beyond but if you just stick it in the corner this is great for small tanks uh, for me right now what it does is um, it stir there's enough uh, let me see if I can actually show you the power on this through the gauze here so there's enough power on this coming out of here to push plants away you, you see the motion it does like look how much power there is coming out through the gods so it will pick up all the tiniest dirt really quickly and it'll just um, look at the bottom of the gods right now look how full it already is and we're just getting started I just started this thing up right so inside this little strainer you can already see black stuff sitting at the bottom like probably right in the middle there you'll see some blackness that's all the dirt it's picking up so I'll just instead of me um, spending hours and hours of just going through the with the hose and siphoning through and si you know through every single guppy tank I have for example in my guppy farm I'll just stick this in, let it gently disturb the water. Now, I'm using this as an example tank. So if I do use this even once a, a, a week or once a day or, 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 or so on, it'll, it won't be so bad. Now, my water is purposely a little bit dirty because I don't use any filters in my tanks. And it looks worse than that lighting. It's actually not so bad as it looks this tank was fairly clean like you can see the bottom is fairly decent just like this tank beside it so it just stirs the dirt up a bit that's all it does and it picks it all up without you doing anything that's the idea I want to make it easy I just want to stick this in and move on do something else come back an hour later or whatever put it in another tank do the same thing and eventually I spent literally no time sifting through the gravel and, and so on. Um, 
So, that, like I said, the only thing you may have to do is move the holes once in the blue moon if, if it's, uh, you know, to disturb the dirt a little bit on the other side of the tank, probably. That's pretty much, like, the hose is pretty long. I can stick it to the other side of the tank even to make it go faster, right? That way it uh, spits the dirt back towards the pump. Maybe that's the better way of doing it so that it spits the water out over there but the pump picks it up here and that's probably the best way to do it but that's a little quick thing I'm testing out I thought I'd share it with all you hard working fish keeping guys um, it may look really devastating in this video but it is such a time saver and it'll clean your tank so quick um, without you having to do anything other than stick this thing in for an hour or so and um, yeah it's just basically a quick fast homemade filter um, with the power of a tremendous pump you can't go wrong right it'll filter through this stuff like there's no tomorrow so um, just something I want to share and that's pretty much the whole video um, Hit that little fish button if you haven't subscribed. And have a good day. Good luck, guys. Let's just watch this really slowly here. I would love to do a time lapse on this. How long it would take to, to actually do this. But from what I'm seeing from the side, it's actually doing it fairly quickly. Alright, that's the lazy man's way.